Alright guys, so today we are going to go do a We Things check-in, a DEXA check-in and an in-body check-in. Uh, last time we did this was a year and what, three months ago? Yeah, roughly. About a year and three months ago. And so that was the start before I got on a big fitness kick. Um, I'm probably sitting like 10 pounds, somewhere 8 to 10 pounds lighter than I was last time. I haven't done a body fat check-in uh, since, but I am should be uh, sitting leaner, but I'm sitting about eight to 10 pounds lighter than I was uh, the last time we did this. I don't know what my body fat percentage is. So we are going to check it here on the Wii things and then we're gonna check it at the DEX scan and then we're gonna go find an in body scan. All right guys, so I usually don't have like any self-consciousness about like weight or anything like that. I'm not worried about that at all. But uh, last time I did the video, I had so many people in the comments be like, you wore socks on the scale. What are you doing? So now I'm paranoid about that. Now I'm so I'm gonna be barefoot. So all you people that were worried about it last time, just calm down. It's gonna be okay. We're gonna be fine. Everything's fine. Okay. So get this done. Let's find out where I'm at. All right. So that has me weighing in at 197. Uh, like 21.8% body fat and then resting heart rate was like 55. So uh, that's kind of what I expect. I've been kind of hanging out between like 194 and 198 lately. Um, the 21%, I really don't know how accurate that is. If that's true, that means I lost like nine pounds and 1% since last time. And I don't think that's true. So, but that's we things. Those are the numbers. Let's go over and check out that. All right, so we are back at the Fit Institute of Texas. We're gonna do the DEXA scan here, see what's changed, if anything, and uh, get a big index on where we're at. All right, so we just did the DEXA scan. Um, it came back and said I'm 20% body fat. I don't know if I believe that. Uh, that feels high. Uh, so I'm wondering, just in general, what this index is off of. I'm curious how we're gonna compare it to uh, the in-body scan that we're coming up and gonna go do. But uh, it has me at 20%. It did say uh, most, like, 90% of uh, the weight loss was fat, which is awesome. Um, you don't want to be just like cutting weight and losing a bunch of muscles. So uh, that was really, really good. Um, it's interesting to see these numbers over time. So hopefully I'm going to come back every three months so we can get these trends on the lock a little bit closer, but um, it still feels like a high number. Be like, I, I need to take my shirt off or like something here. Like I, I don't think I'm 20%, but um, you know, maybe I'm getting gaslit by science. Maybe that's what's happening. So um, we'll go find out uh, the third number and then we will compare them all. All right, so we are back at the random fitness store that will let us do our in-body scan for free, but will not let us film in there. So I would give them a shout out, but I don't think they want us to. So. Uh, we're going to go see how the in-body scan compares to everything else. Uh, so far, we are down across the board on everything, um, but we're going to actually see what percentages this kicks out versus DEXA and uh, see if I feel better about myself. All right, so we just finished the in-body scan here at supplement shop that will not be named. 
And uh, I like this place. Apparently, I like this place a lot more than all the other ones. Uh, this has me at 12% body fat. Um, uh, all the other metrics are basically the same, uh, down from 204 to like 196. Uh, but yeah, this has me going down from, I was at 14%, 14.3% last time to 12% this time. Uh, I think Isaac and I were talking and we were like guesstimating where I was at and we said 12. So this makes me feel like we're better guessers. Uh, but yeah, the discrepancy here is interesting and I'm not quite sure what to make of it. All right, we are back for round two of the body fat comparison challenge, if you will. All right, so this morning I weighed in on the wee things at 197 and like 21% body fat. Um, I don't necessarily think the wee things is super uh, accurate when it comes to body fat percentage. I just don't think oh, that is the right number. But then we went to DEXA and DEXA was like, hey, I think wee things is. <laughs> pretty accurate because uh, DEXA has me at 20.4%. So that has me at 196, 20.4%. Um, 20 and that's down like 3% from last time and about eight pounds. Um, and most of the fat loss here, or most of the weight loss was fat loss. Um, I came over to InBody and uh, this is gonna make me an InBody convert because they have me down from 14% uh, last time to 12% this time. I'm gonna admit this feels more accurate. I don't feel like I'm walking around at 20% body fat. I um, feel like I'm pretty lean right now. I'm actually like almost about as lean as I wanna get. But if I'm at 12%, I probably could still lean out a little bit. Um, I don't think I'm at 20% and can lean out eight more percentage points. That seems, it seems high. So uh, what's interesting about this is that one, we have indexes off of each machine so I can see how things are progressing. And overall, um, I'm progressing kind of like I thought I was, basically lost you know, eight to 10 pounds, um, leaned out considerably across the board. Um, just what that number means on different machines is kind of up for debate. One of the takeaways we had with the last video was that I was surprised that InBody seemed closer to my uh, you know, personal estimate than everything else. Um, but again, it seems like it's, it seems like it's closer. Uh, you guys tell me, uh, bully me in the comments, let me know. But uh, I think I'm definitely closer to 12% than I am to 20%. Um, it's gonna be interesting to continue to track this over time. Maybe we can throw a couple different other measurements in here. Um, one thing, um, Isaac actually brought this up uh, about the DEXA scan was that I think I might've been moving a little bit on the DEXA machine. Um, I'm not quite sure how much, um, but I usually move quite a bit all the time. I have a hard time sitting still. So um, he mentioned I was moving a little bit on the text machine. If that's the case, uh, maybe we got an inaccurate reading there. Maybe uh, we got some things jumbled up or maybe I'm really 20%. I'm just coming up with interesting rationalizations for why I don't want to face that reality. Uh, but uh, that could be you know, one explanation for that higher number there. Um, the we things, I don't really know how accurate they claim that to be in general. I know they have different modes on the scale, one's for normal, one's for athlete. Um, I think it's all set up correctly, but uh, it shouldn't be uh, you know, too wildly off. But all that to say, uh, I think I do like the InBody one the most. Um, they seem to have, uh, they seem to be tracking you know, with all the different metrics um, just as well as everything else. Um, everything is just kind of coming out to different percentages. So uh, as usual, uh, the best measurement is how you look in the mirror. I think I'm looking much better than I was and uh, there's still a little bit ways to go. Uh, we still have a few weeks till summer, so hopefully peaking then. Uh, but we have similar metrics to last time. Everything is kind of indexed in the same way, uh, in the same ratios. It's just, uh, they we're trending downwards, which is great. Um, continuing to lean out, um, losing mostly fat, not muscle, which is great. I'm gonna continue doing this, uh, maybe make these more frequent, but then also see if we can throw any other measurement tools in the mix to continue getting more data points, index points. So we can figure out which one of these is the most accurate and what these different numbers look like, like what the same body composition looks like on different machines. So as we're measuring them, um, 
if you got a higher number on maybe a DEXA than an in-body uh, and you're comparing them, you probably don't want to compare across measurement tools. So that's kind of what we came up with. Uh, we're, I was joking with Isaac that this is fun. This is like, we, we just do the same route um, every time we do this. So uh, maybe we'll do this more often. Uh, we'll continue to lean out. Maybe I'll uh, peak a little bit more. Um, we can retest this and see exactly where we end up. But this has been uh, a DEXA comparison to in-body comparison to we things. You guys let me know what you think I'm sitting at from a body fat percentage standpoint. All right, so that was supposed to be the end of the video, but uh, literally as we finished up shooting, um, Isaac went home. Uh, someone was tweeting about this Spren app, which is uh, by the guys who do Elite HRV. Basically, it's supposed to take a photo of you and then scan you and tell you what your body fat percentage is. So um, I uh, tweeted back, got an invite code. It's still early access. We're gonna see if this act thing is actually like accurate. Everything else is like 60, 70 bucks. This is free on your phone. So uh, we'll see how we go. All right, so I've been following the directions. I'm gonna try to lean up against this white wall. It's about the only white space I've got in the house. So we'll see if this works. Uh, I'm gonna set this up. It says to lean the phone against an object. So I have my uh, impossible mug here and let me see if I can place this in a way that actually makes. That's not gonna be in the photo. All right, so we are at 18.1%, 196 pounds, 160 pounds of lean mass and 35 pounds of fat mass. So uh, this is coming in somewhere in between DEXA and InBody. Um, we're doing this a couple days later. Uh, than everything else too. So maybe things fluctuated, but like there shouldn't be a big fluctuation in like 48 hours. Uh, overall, personally, again, I think I'm gonna just, uh, I think InBody's gonna be my new fan, but uh, this is actually a cool app. Uh, I'm curious to see. Uh, I can do this way more often than I can do all the other ones just because I don't have time to run around town and go to, you know, two, three different things uh, in a day. But uh, you can just take this on your phone. That's kind of cool. Uh, maybe I will uh, specifically lean out for a couple days and give it another shot, but um, interesting, interesting. Um, apparently they send you a full PDF and a bunch of other things. So I'll be playing around with that a little bit more. Yeah, so we things versus DEXA versus InBody, part two. And now Spren is in the mix. So guys, let me know if you want me to test out anything else. Uh, we'll be throwing other things in the mix here and testing this hopefully on a more regular basis so uh, we can keep getting leaned out and uh, get down to a body fat percentage that it can't be gaslit by, okay? Guys, that's it for the video. Thanks for watching. Keep pushing your limits and I will see you on the next video.